Don't you just hate that when you're driving and all of a sudden your Android Auto just cuts out? Like you could be jamming, getting in the vibe, and all of a sudden, zip, nothing. You know what? Let me pull over and I can talk to you guys. All right, so Toyota is notorious for having the problem, whether it be a Corolla, RAV4, Foreigner. I've tried it in all of my friends' cars, and it all does the same exact thing. So what happened is that the music will be playing. You'll be connected to Android Auto, listening to your YouTube music, SoundCloud, whatever, and then all of a sudden it just glitches in and out. Sometimes it may be a one-second glitch. Sometimes it won't even reconnect. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix that. What's up YouTube, Wide Open Throttle here and welcome to the channel, What Works. As I explained earlier how YouTube music, YouTube, any audio experience that you're listening to may cut out during uh, the session, uh, I will show you how to fix that. Alright guys, as you can see here, I got this nice LED cable attached. It shows the status of the charge and it's uh, pretty cool looking, but it has one fatal flaw when it comes to Toyota. If it just wiggles and jiggles a little bit, and uh, it's just gonna cut out. So allow me to demonstrate. I'm gonna turn up the music here. And just watch, even a little tap can, can set it off. See, that, and then it would just shut off and then your YouTube audio will just uh, turn off. So as you can see here, it's off. And then even though it shows that it's still connected, So there, that, that's what's causing it. All right, so now I'm gonna try a, the same exact thing with a different cable. Plugging it back in. So now with this new cable plugged in, um, as you can see, it's back up. And now watch when I jiggle it again. It disconnects. So if I tap it again down here a little bit, it's gonna go back to Android Auto. And then you have to replay all your stuff again and everything. So what is the fix for this? All right, so I took this car to the dealership and they couldn't find out what's wrong with it. And they also told me that that port is naturally just wiggly. Wiggle jiggle, wiggle wiggle jiggle. Wiggle. Uh, that port is just naturally wiggly so um, and then they said that it's there's no problem with the port so I also went online talked to Samsung and they said to use the official port I was like okay that sounds like a good idea but the cord that came in with my phone is just a USB-C to a USB-C port which that is a USB-A so I have to go online and buy a whole entirely new cord made from Samsung that has USB A to USB C. So now let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, so I just plugged in the USB C, uh, C cord to USB A to the car, and I have Android Auto playing. Now watch when I jiggle and wiggle the cord. No issues at all. Even try to pull it out slightly, put it in, everything works well. So there you go. What they don't tell you is that you need to use the official manufactured cord for it because apparently USB-C to USB-A, the phone needs to have a compatibility. And also that port I noticed is a little bit shorter than most USB cords. So you have to get one that's fully snugged in. So the best way, get the manufacturer, whether it be Samsung, Sony, or if you have Apple CarPlay, you have to get the official Apple cord for it and not use any aftermarket. And there you have it, a fix for audio glitching for Android Auto with Toyota. All right guys, so there you have it. This is Wide Open Throttle and you're watching What Works. And if you like what I do, please like and subscribe and also comment in this comment box of what you'd like to see me to do next or uh, anything that you have any recommendations for. Thank you. See you in the next one.